Next up, for anyone with oily or combination skin, keeping your face shine-free can be a hassle. Well, worry no more, as today we've got some tips on how to stay matte from morning to midnight. Discover healthy feeling skin from day one with Aveeno. And today we are finding out how to create that matte finish if you have oily skin. And Sarah Jane, choosing the right moisturiser is really important. Yep, that's right. Something that's too rich or too oil-based is definitely not going to help your makeup last. So I definitely recommend using Nourish's uh, light reflective moisturiser. It's really, really fresh and light. It absorbs quickly and it's not too rich either. And it's got a lovely smell, which is very important too, <laughs> isn't it? So would you recommend a primer or not? I think so. If you do also have like open pores, a lot of people with oily skin have that kind of issue around the T-zone. So um, I've used the NYC uh, Pore Perfecting Primer, which I think is really, really good. It has a teeny little bit of a sheen in it as well, but it's something very, very light and natural. So it smooths over open pores and also kind of um, holds the foundation on to the skin for longer as well, so preventing it from melting. Now also important, of course, is choosing the right foundation. Should you go for an oil-free one? Yeah, well, it can certainly help, definitely. I think um, choosing something with a decent amount of powder in it is probably the smart thing to do. Um, generally, when there's powders in the foundation, it kind of like absorbs excess oil. So there's a great new product coming out by Rimmel in September called Stay Matte Foundation. And uh, the consistency is gorgeous. It blends on really, really nicely and quickly as well, which is great. And it kind of, you know, stops shininess throughout the day and doesn't get kind of oily looking, which is brilliant. And I see we have some Kardashian Beauty bronzer. You must be very excited about that one. Yeah, I absolutely love that brand I, I, which feels strange for me to say this because I'm not a big fan of the family you know but the Kardashian range is actually excellent it's really really good the bronzer comes in three shades in the one packet as well so you can choose something a little bit lighter if you're going for a day look or you can blend the three of them together if you want a more kind of like mixed kind of um, finish See, there's a lovely Kardashian kind of highlighter there as well. Yeah, highlighters are great. Again, if you have got oily skin, I would definitely steer clear of cream products. Like you would avoid cream blushers, definitely avoid cream highlighters as well because they'll just probably leave a hole in your foundation or they'll kind of prevent or they'll make shine, should I say. So um, yeah, that powder highlighter I think is really, really pretty and you can use it as an eyeshadow as well. Uh, I put a little bit just along the cheekbones, down the center of the nose and on the kind of cupid's bow of the lip as well, just to get a nice shape. And to stay matched throughout the day, Sarah Jane recommends keeping the T-zone powder powdered to avoid shine where you don't want it. Discover healthy feeling skin from day one with Aveeno.